William Eugene Smith was arguably the master of the photo essay. While becoming known as the father of the photo essay, Smith endured a hard life fighting for what he believed in. William Eugene Smith was born on December 30, 1918, in Wichita, Kansas, and was introduced to photography by his mother, who was an enthusiastic amateur. His childhood was typical until his father committed suicide during Smith's senior year in high school. His camera quickly became an obsession, perhaps to help Smith cope with his tragic loss. By the age of 13, he was committed to the craft, and by 21, he had been published in dozens of magazines. Smith's talent led to a special scholarship design specifically for him to study photography at Notre Dame, but he left after his first semester. His restlessness took him to New York, where he was hired by Newsweek. He became known there for his perfectionism and thorny personality. Smith was fired from Newsweek for refusing to use medium format cameras and joined Life magazine in 1939 using a 35mm camera. While working for Life, Smith was assigned as a war correspondent and was often on the front lines in the Pacific Theater of World War II. As he observed and photographed the Japanese victims of the war, Smith's conscience was stirred. It was then he began to develop in his work the theme of social responsibility. He sought to touch the viewers' emotions and inspire them to work for social justice. As Smith explains, I wanted my pictures to carry some message against the greed, the stupidity, and the intolerances that caused these wars. He became legendary for his emotionally charged and truthful images. It was important to Smith to photograph the war with heart and preciseness. He photographed 26 carrier combat missions and 13 invasions in the Pacific and in Europe, on land, sea, and in the air. His images were even published in Japanese magazines. His work was interrupted in 1945 on May 22nd during the invasion of Okinawa. His face and hands were severely injured by a shell fragment. After two painful years of numerous surgeries and recovery, Smith could barely hold a camera, but felt a growing need and desire to make images that were signs of hope and happiness and social conscience. He said, The day I again tried for the first time to make a photograph, I could barely load the roll of film into the camera. Yet I was determined that the first photograph would be a contrast to the war photographs and that it would speak in information of life. His first photograph after his surgery was of his two young children emerging from a dark wooded area. It was titled The Walk to Paradise Garden and became his most famous picture. He resumed working for life and produced some of the best photo essays such as the Spanish Village Essay, which documented birth, life, and death being eased by a nurse midwife. Smith severed his ties with life because of the way the magazine had used his photographs of Albert Schwitzer. Upon leaving the magazine, Ma Smith joined the Magnum Photo Agency in 1955. There he started his project to document the city of Pittsburgh. The project was supposed to take him three weeks, but spanned to three years, and encompassed tens of thousands of photographic negatives. It was too large to ever be shown although a series of book-length photo essays were eventually produced. In 1971, Smith married Eileen Sprague, where he lived with her in a small fishing village of Minamata, Japan. He began his project on how the water in the village had been poisoned with mercury because of the industrialization. An entire generation of people were born with horrible defects. In January 1972, Smith was attacked by Chiso Company employees near Tokyo in an attempt to stop him from further publicizing the effects of Minamata disease to the world. Although Smith survived the attack, his sight and one eye deteriorated. During the time Smith was not able to work due to his injuries, his wife of Japanese origin, Eileen Smith, continued his work. Smith and his wife lived in the city of Minamata, from 1971 to 1973 and created a photo essay detailing the effects of the poison induced disease caused by a chiso factory discharging heavy metals into the water sources around minamata the essay was published in 1975 as minamata words and photographs by w e smith and a m smith one of his most famous works tomoko yurema in her bath taken in December 1971 and published a few months after the 1972 attack, drew worldwide attention to the effects of Minamata disease. When Eugene Smith died in Tucson, Arizona in 1978, 
He left behind a legacy of some of the most powerful photographs in the history of journalism. His personal approach to integrating his life and to the lives of his subjects revolutionized the somewhat new form of photojournalism known as the photo essay. His body of work remains one of the primary bridges between photojournalists and fine art photographers.